the Media Line is hosting a press and policy conference in Jerusalem with an array of guests from the Israeli, Palestinian, Druze and Egyptian communities. U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman extended greetings at the event, which also featured a panel of female speakers looking at the growing role of women in press and policy. Felice Fritzen initiated the forum. We have to realize that the task of a journalist is not that of PR or propaganda or advocacy, or what we want the journalist to say on our behalf. It's the job of the journalist to listen, to report, to tell, and for the public to understand today what journalism is supposed to be. Though it gave a broad overview of the role media play in the region today, some of the guests honed in on the Gaza conflict, criticizing what they saw as unfair reporting. It would seem to me that in a journalistic environment where nine out of ten articles that are written about the Gaza conflict are critical of Israel, you would think that some journalist would take the time to go and meet with experts and understand what could have been done differently or better before they criticize. Until you do that work, you know, just, just keep your mouth shut until you figure it out because otherwise all you're doing is creating impressions that have no basis in fact. Friedman also thanked the media line for their work. They do, in, in my view, in my judgment, a really excellent job and that's why I'm happy to come here and to congratulate them on this, uh, on this very uh, important milestone in, in your development. But not everyone was happy about his presence at the symposium. Nearly all the Palestinian guests boycotted the event to protest the ambassador's attendance. There's an 800-pound gorilla in the room. If you look around you and you see a uh, good number of empty seats, uh, a lot of them are seats that were reserved by uh, our Palestinian colleagues. Held in honor of the Media Line's New Jerusalem Bureau, the Press and Policy Forum also featured an all-women's panel. Member of Israeli Parliament Sharon Haskell discussed how she promoted legislation that loosens regulations for the broadcast television industry in Israel. There's now an option for anyone, almost anyone. Obviously, you need the licensing and things like that, but it's really minimal. And I believe that that will completely change, uh, you know, uh, the communication and, and journalism and everything here in Israel. And Gadir Marich, the first female Druze anchor, talked about how she shattered the glass ceiling in her conservative Druze society. Now our leaders understand that although we are a conservative society, they can trust women. In recent years, we have more and more success stories of local Druze women. Working with Felice and now working with Kim, I have had two strong female role models to kind of see what traits that they carry with themselves that has really allowed them to succeed. Another panel examined how fact-based news can create sound policy. Much like Friedman, some of the Israeli speakers also criticized recent media coverage of the Gaza conflict. Most of the media, not all of it, uh, is biased. I, I, I don't think that Israel uh, is always perfect. Uh, we're making mistakes like any other country in the world. Uh, I criticize the government a lot of time on a lot of things, but usually the international media do not understand the Israeli uh, reality. The media is, uh, is exaggerating in, in making those emotions of right and left in Israel much more uh, powerful than they are. Others, like Dr. Ayad Dajani, stress the importance of reconciliation and how news outlets can present opposing narratives truthfully and accurately. Reconciliation does not mean to forget and forgive. It's not. It's to, to alter the past in a way that we recognize the past and we are willing to build ourselves to live in a better place. Finally, Haysam Hassanin, an Egyptian PhD candidate at Tel Aviv University, said the Arab world has given more positive coverage to Israel in recent years. If we compare the depiction of Israel and the Arab media uh, before the Arab Spring and uh, nowadays, I would say nowadays it's getting better. From Jerusalem, Maya Margit for the Media Line.